Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students and viewers. Welcome to my YouTube channel TG Learner Part. In today's videos we are going to cover the solution of assignment number 2 belongs to the subject money money and banking with subject code MGD 411 and its and last date of submission is 22nd February 2021 and its total marks are 10. So uh, without wasting time on uh, learning objectives and learning outcomes uh, we directly approach to the assignment questions and uh, apparently you can uh, screening out the question that it has the four parts and every part has a number 2.5 so when you multiply 2.5 by 4 it becomes 10 which is the total marks of the assignment uh, before uh, <coughs> we're going to the solution let's uh, read out the assignment questions and its related four tasks to understand it and then uh, provide the solution and guess every task uh, so the assignment is here consider the following transactions and show the impact of each transaction on assets and liability side of the state bank of pakistan uh, you know uh, very well that every balance sheet has two size liabilities and uh, assets so you are going to be explain the impact of or effect of uh, all these tra four transactions on asset and liability sides of the state bank of pakistan's balance sheet as well as the second part is also state the impact of each transaction on the size of the balance sheet of spp and we are also going to be describe uh, how this transaction going to be influence the size of the balance sheet of the spp so uh, we are going to start the first transaction spp sells rupees 100 millions of treasury bonds to a commercial bank uh, practically uh, this uh, selling and buying of the tra treasury bills is a part of the open market operation as carried by out by the central banks and with its commercial banks so it is a omo uh, related transactions and uh, let's go to the second transaction SPB purchases rupees 10 million of treasury bonds from a commercial bank again it is a uh, kind of transaction related to omo uh, open market operations let's move to the third one a commercial bank borrows rupees 100 millions from the SPB. now uh, the situation is different here a commercial bank has approached the SPB bank to get loan or borrow actually uh, this there are two kinds of uh, loan uh, as commercial bank taken from the state bank of pakistan first one is a discount loan and the other one is float but specifically i am going to be taken into account the discount loan in this uh, transaction so here is the last one a person withdraws rupees 10 million cash from his own bank account now uh, uh, individual a public person has involved this uh, transaction he approaches his own commercial bank and he, he draws rupees 10 million from his account now what happened uh, on the balance sheet of the central bank of pakistan as a result of this transaction we will discuss it in our answer so let's go to the solution here is the solution <coughs> first transaction SBP sells rupees 100 million of treasury bonds to a commercial bank uh, as i earlier discussion i told you it is a kind of omo activity so um let's discuss the impact of this transaction on asset and liabilities of SBP balance sheet the assets drop by rupees 100 million under the head securities the liability is dropped by rupees 100 million the same amount under the head of reserves security is the uh, component of the assets and reserve is the component of the liabilities so both sides are uh, dropped by the same amount so which reveals that the size of the balance sheet also affected by this transaction and reduced by the same amount which is equal to rupees 100 million now move to the second transactions SBB purchases rupees 10 millions of treasury bonds from a commercial bank. Now, what happened? <coughs> Here, SBB purchases 
in the first transaction spp involved in selling uh, the transaction when he is going to open a bid for a treasury bill or in, case in form of the treasury bonds all uh, commercial banks are invited to participate into this this is the reason that the uh, scale of the transaction is very high in selling uh, but the scale of the transaction is very small as compared to the first one uh, due to um, because in this case bank approaches uh, only spp purchases a treasury bill from a commercial bank not all from all the bank so where the quantity of uh, number of commercial bank increases uh, are increases uh, means uh, number of commercial banks are more as compared to the transaction two where is only one commercial bank involved so let's see uh, the impact on the asset and liabilities of state bank of pakistan's balance sheet the account the same account that we are going to be dealt in the first securities and reserves account securities which appear on the uh, asset side of the balance sheet in case by the 10 billion and the same uh, side uh, the same uh, effect is reflected on the liability side which is increased by the uh, same amount 10 million under the head of reserves so uh, this transaction or this uh, increment in the both side of the balance sheet by the 10 million uh, means that the size of the balance sheet of the center uh, central bank uh, of pakistan which is uh, spp is increased by 10 million now move to the third transactions in third transaction a commercial bank borrows rupees 100 million from the spp so i in earlier discussion i told you that there are two kinds of uh, loans are loans that a commercial bank approach to spp to get one is discount loan the other is float but uh, i am going to be confined to the this loan is belong to the discount loan so let's analyze the impact on asset and liabilities uh, as a result of this transaction transaction increases the assets side by rupees 100 million under the head discount loan so this uh, amount you will be observed in the account which is labeled as discount loan and the liability side is also affected in upper uh, in increasing sense with the same amount 100 million under the head reserves again as a result of this transaction the both sides of the balance sheet means assets and liabilities are increased by the uh, same amount 100 million which conclude that the size of the balance sheet of the uh, state bank of pakistan also increases by the same amount now move to the <coughs> fourth and last transaction of this uh, exercise where a person withdraws rupees 10 million cash from his own bank account in the previous three transactions commercial banks and state banks are involved and state banks you know the regulatory authority and control all the commercial banks but in the post in the fourth uh, transaction an individual public person has approached his bank uh, to draw his personal uh, amount from his account but this amount also affects uh, SPP's balance sheet because as per statutory commercial banks are abide by to uh, go for some reserves to keep to keep their reserves in the custody of the central bank so let's analyze what kind of impacts are RB on the asset liability size of the balance sheet. Currency increased by rupees 10 million. Reserves decreased by rupees 10 million. It means currency and reserves both are the component of the liability size. Only uh, what happened, you are going to put uh, some amount from another account to it. What happened? The net, the net effect is zero because you have taken 10 million rupees from currency account and put it to the, uh, sorry, you have taken uh, 10 million account from reserve side and put into the currency account. So, uh, reserve account is reduced by 10 million and currency account is increased by 10 million. So, net effect is zero, which means that there is no change in the size of the balance sheet of the state bank of pakistan here the 
answer is complete i hope you will uh, understand the solution of this exercise if you have any query or questions drop in comment section or if you want to contribute some additional information or capture some mistake or error or want to be corrected correct them so comment section is for you come here and we are open to discuss it for the benefits of all the viewers thanks for watching assalamu alaikum